Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are watching The Bedazzled Buddhist and my name is Chris. Today I thought I would talk about all of the palettes that I used in the month of February, including my attempt to find an eye look using pink eyeshadow that I liked. So if that sounds interesting, um, stay tuned and I'll take you through. Okay, let's, um, I'm gonna do these in no particular order. Let's just jump in and um, get started. So I'm gonna, the first thing I used was the um, palette that I made um, for myself after depotting some ColourPop and Juvia's Place um, palette. So I put them in here and this is the little color story that I made and I used this and I really liked it. I love the look that I made and I love that I was able to make this custom. So I will uh, probably put these back and pick out some others to try um, again for the month of March. So I, this is one I used. Um, I use the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions. Now this is a palette that I bought on Mercari. Um, I think it was gently used. And so I have spoken before about how a lot of my makeup I've gotten on Mercari. That's how I have palettes that are discontinued. I bought them off of Mercari. And if you're patient and you, um, if you're patient and you, just wait for a good price you can get some really good deals so i got a, a really good deal on this one and um i thought it was gorgeous now um i did not clean this with um alcohol when i received it so when i took it out this time i used my um 100 alcohol and dabbed it on and it basically has hard pan all over it I don't know if it had hard pan already and the alcohol made it worse or if the alcohol gave it hard pan. I mean, it is probably an older palette. So um, I couldn't use any of them except for this shade right here, which um, I did use. And it's sort of like a black base with red um, sparkles in it. It's gorgeous. So I love the look. I did, it was a one and done look I made with this palette using this shade and um, I absolutely loved it. Let me, that's a, not a great swatch. Let me see if you can see that there. Um, get my face out of it. Yeah. It, it, it's this is not doing it justice sorry it just looks like a smudge so um if this palette is still available i don't know i might purchase it new because um i i like i like red i like this color story i like the palette so that was kind of a bummer if i can get it new that would be awesome okay um this is new to my collection i saw somebody's declutter video collection and declutter when they showed this palette from NYX and I was just like, I have to, I have to have that. So I bought this, I think on Amazon or something, it was $9 or $12. Um, and it's such a cool color story. I mean, literally it's kind of a cool tone, but it's neutral. It has these kind of desaturated colors. So I love the look I made with this. That was um, a lot of fun. Um, I use for the first time this palette, the Gothic Romance palette from Necromancy Cosmetica, and um, enjoyed, I did a neutral look using um, these two shades here, I think, and then here's a shimmer. So I did a, a neutral look with that, and um, I really enjoyed it. The quality was great. So pretty much all these palettes, you'll see that, I mean, I, I liked everything. Um, this isn't a ranking so much. This is just, I'm just excited to be using my makeup. I finally used my Haunted Euro palette from Nomad. And um, I think I used this one yesterday or, or the day before. Um, so pretty. I used, I 
used a few different shades. I think like these kind of grayish purples. I used that one there. Um, really pretty. I love the look. I love the palette. So that was great. I also use my Nomad Orient Express palette. Now this one, um, this is one of my favorite eye looks I made this month it was with this palette. It was so pretty. This looks a little um, like the neutrals look like just kind of common neutrals, but I don't remember which shade it was. Maybe it was this one on, on the end. It's like a pinkish gold. Um, so pretty. So I just love, love, love the look I made on this one. I love the packaging. I love that this is like leather, faux leather looking on the inside, that it's squishy and velvet on the outside. Um, oh, what is that? Looks like some powder all over the back. Um, love, love. If I ever do a ranking of my Nomad palettes, which I think I may because I'm starting to get um, quite a few of them, um, this one might end up very high in that. I love it, love it. Um, okay, let me keep go out. Uh, let me let me go here. Um, one of the things I was working on this month for Valentine's was trying to come with a come up with a, a pink eyeshadow look. So I mentioned before that pink isn't a color that I particularly like for eyeshadow. I find it hard to come up with a look that doesn't look like um, like irritation. I know a lot of other people have said that as well. So I was trying all different shades of pink and finishes and whatnot. I came up with some conclusions, but one of the new things I got was one of the Charlotte Tilbury Pop Shots. So I got this one in um, Pillow Talk Diamonds. Diamond Dimension, is that the color? So there's one that's kind of like pink, pink or lavender in your face, and then this one's a little more of a soft pink. And um, I really, really, um, it's, it's like a warm pink kind of, um, sorry, it's, how's that? Ooh, that's terrible. That's terrible light, that's better. Um, so man, these uh, the, these swatches, nothing's looking good that I'm showing you so far, but um, I, I love this. I love one and done looks. Um, I really like these pop shots. I know they are um, pricey, but um, I love them. And I think that's what matters. So there's that. I used both of my, um, Pink Mothership. So I think that's like Mothership 7 and 8. And I took them out of the boxes just so... 7 is Divine Rose. Right. And 8 is Divine Rose 2. Okay. So let's see. So here is Divine Rose. I loved the look I made with this. Um... What did I use? I used a number of different shadows, um, but I used these two. I definitely dipped into that brown on the end. I used these. I used some of the special shades. I loved it. I absolutely loved the look. So this is a palette that, you know, I got the two of these. I was on a train going from Worcester to Boston to see the Celtics uh, play. And I uh, was with my husband and son and some friends. And on the train on Wi-Fi, um, this was the day after Thanksgiving. So there were all the sales going on. So these two were in a bundle that were on sale as a bundle. And then it was something like 40% off of that. And I hadn't gotten these before because, like I said, I'm not really a fan of pink. But I said, oh, you know, that's a really good price. So I, I think it was essentially... It was like $90 for the two of them. It was something crazy. Um, and then, okay, let me, oh, and then there's this one. So, also beautiful. But what I have learned is this shade of pink, um, I just do not like on myself. 
um, I like bright colors and other shades. I mean, clearly today you see what I'm wearing. Um, so it's, it's not the intensity, but I like my pinks to be a little softer, a little warmer. It's actually surprising because I always say I like cool tones. Um, but I, I figured out this is the shade of pink that I don't like. But if I stay away from that and, you know, use these um, in the special shades, like, I love it. I love it. So I'm happy I got to use those. I used my Cosmic Brushes Serenity palette. So this is a palette that a lot of people really raved about last year. Um, I got mine on Mercari because I couldn't get it from the... Um, from the actual site, but um, really pretty. I might not have used this for Valentine's. Remember I made a, a purple look. Um, I really like purple. Um, so really enjoyed this palette. Um, it, it worked beautifully. So like that one. Um, one of the channels I watch that I really enjoy is Dolly Mama Beauty. Um, so Amy on that channel, she loves, loves, loves the BH Cosmetics, um, um, I guess they're the Say It palettes. So this is, uh, because of, because of her, I, lo I love her enthusiasm just for makeup and her enthusiasm in, in general. And, um, if you haven't seen her, definitely check her out, Dolly Mama Beauty. Um... But uh, she always raves about these palettes and the quality and whatnot. So, again, I was on Mercari, um, and somebody had the entire set new for um, maybe it was $40 or something. Um, so I, I, I snatched it. I thought that was great. So um, I'm excited to try the others. This is the first one that I've tried from the set and only because it is um it's all pink and so this was the first one i used for um for valentine's when i started trying to play with pink and the quality is exceptional absolutely i did not like the look i made only because i used this these pinks and you know i just thought Ugh. So, um, so I probably, I probably won't use these two. I just don't like, but these all I would absolutely use. Um, you know, this one's a little darker, deeper. I would like that. This one is so pretty up here called T-H-O-T. Am I so out of it that I don't know what that means anymore? Anyway, um, really enjoyed the palette. Did not like the look I made, but just because I figured out the color pink I don't like. I use my Hip Dot Clueless palette. So this is a palette that I love because it's fuzzy, right? And that's why I got it, because I, I love the movie Clueless and a fuzzy palette, what is not to like? So this is the uh, color story. And I have to say, I was really pleasantly surprised with the quality of the shadows and I made a beautiful look with it. I just loved myself that day. So that that was a great surprise because I mean, I, I thought this was kind of be a bunch of crap because it's old and it's probably, you know, technically expired and whatnot, but it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So that was a good, um, uh, a nice surprise. I also used my Mean Girls palette the Burn Book palette from Storybook Cosmetics. Again, um, I picked it out because it had a shade of pink in it. And this one also, the shadows were not, you know, I had very low expectations, but um, I think I used this, this, this in my inner corner. Uh, I tried the pink. I mean, not bad. I liked it. I liked it. So um, I'm pretty much learning with a lot of shadows, you know, even if the formulas are different, I'm getting to know how to work with them. And, and, you know, sometimes you just have to blend out a little more. You just have to layer it up a little bit more, but I've been able to really make a lot of these shadows kind of work for me, which is nice. Um, I might have mentioned this one before. So this is from Ilya. It's the color Aura. 
maybe I mentioned this before because it was in a shop my stash or something. Um, but this is like a very soft pink. I would not have thought I'd like this, but I actually liked it a lot. So I like my eyeshadow to either be very dark um, so that, you know, my eyes are kind of contrast to the rest of my coloring. But I found with this shade, it made, you know, my lids were light, soft pink, um, and it made like my eye itself seem more, um, I don't know, just pop out a little more. So I, I really liked it. It's a cream to powder. And um, yeah, I might, I might pick up another one of these. I, it was really good. I finally used my Smoke Sessions palette from Melt Cosmetics. Um, it is, it is crumbly, um, but I, I think I used two shades from this. I really like, you know, I, I often use two shades for my eye looks, maybe three. Um, so for this one, what did I use? Um, based on the smudges. I use one of these two mattes, I don't remember, and then I use this green here. Now I have to say, um, I'm using the Rebel palette um, from Juvia's Place today, and I did like that one better than this. So I might do kind of like, a, I might try to do a look with the two of them side by side one day, but, um, but I did like it. There was fallout. Um, but I've also figured out how to deal with fallout um, up front, so that was okay. Um, I used for the first time this palette from the Urban Decay um, Basquiat collection. So there's two of them. One's colorful and this one is more neutral. And uh, really like the look that I made. So quality was great. Old Urban Decay is great. Um, so this was really, really nice. And I, you know, what's funny is this one, you see it has a hanger on the back. So this is usually hanging on my wall. So I just took it off the wall to use it. And now I'll just put it back on the wall that I tried it out. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned, I got this palette from KVD that not a lot of people talk about or ever talked about. It's a holiday release. And um, it's a beautiful palette. I am not crazy about, um, I don't know, I think like these shades kind of look similar, right? Like the whole top row, there's not as much variation as I would like, but since I'm, I'm a two shadow kind of person, um, I mean, these two greens here would go well. Um, so I, I find that the color story, it's a little bit disjointed. Like even if I just want to use two colors, it's a little like which matte and shimmer should I use, but the, the quality was lovely. Um, it's not going anywhere. I love the packaging. I love all of it. Um, what else? Oh, I have the MI Los Angeles Mixology palette. So this is called Happy Hour Edition. And this is a beautiful um, kind of pinky neutral uh, palette. The, um, there's one, I thought this was, a, this was a pressed glitter. So this is the shade called um, Orgasm. Holy crap. This was stunning. Um, stunning, stunning. I, it's one of those things I was just like in love with myself. Uh, I could, I kept going to the mirror to look, um, and, uh, I just loved it. So I really enjoyed the look I made with this one. Check out this brand if you have not. This is like such a sleeper. People don't talk about, um, Am I Los Angeles? Um, that's Makeup Institute Los Angeles, the mixology palette, so good. And I have a couple other palettes from them that I'm going to be using in the month of March that I'll tell you about when I get to them. Um, the So Jaded palette I used, 
this was one that I was going to depot, and then when I got to the point of depotting, I couldn't do it because I realized it's just perfect the way it is. Um, so, you know, when I don't know where to start, I tend to always kind of go for the neutrals and just make a neutral look. So um, this one was a neutral look, but then I, I remember I used the shade Diamond on top, you know, which is really pretty. It's sort of like a topper. Um, oh my God, these are the worst swatches ever. So sorry. Take my word for it, okay? Um, beautiful palette. Little dry, little, little patchy, you know, um, not as good quality as some others I use, but this might be a little old, right? Um, and also, you know, like I said, it's not a problem because I just kind of build things up and I've learned how to make make the eyeshadow work for me some of them you just have to work more than others but perfectly fine i love the palette and i'm so happy i didn't depot it um so happy about that one and the last palette that i used in the month of february so i didn't wear makeup every day um i tend to not wear makeup on weekends sometimes if i'm not going anywhere so is um, from VE Cosmetics, the Book of Shadows palette. And so this is um, colorful and beautiful. And I did a purple look with this palette. I really like purple um, on myself. So um, just really enjoyed this one. So that's, um, that's what I did. It's one... So I used... 17 palettes from my collection that I had not used before, plus a custom palette that I made. Um, I was, I found that um, it, I had such a good time with my makeup this month. I love taking a palette, coming up with a color, learning about the palette. There was ones that I thought I wouldn't like that I just, like the Nomad Orient Express, I, I just loved the look that I made with that palette. I loved everything about it. Um, the, the, this one was like a total surprise. Um, so it's just so much fun taking out these palettes and using them and palettes that, you know, I, I thought I would love that they, they weren't what I thought. You know, I just learned a lot about the makeup and my preferences. I certainly learned that I like pink but pink um, has to be kind of a soft pink, like sort of like a, a more neutral leaning kind of pink. Um, just that hot pink I don't like. I like bright pink lipstick, but on my eyes, I just, I just don't like it. Um, so I can say I like pink eyeshadow. It just has to be a certain color. Um, so that's my video. I hope you enjoyed this and um, I look forward to making the next video. I'm going to again just pick out, I can actually hang on a sec, I'll show you some of the palettes I've already picked out um, to use for March. I can't use too many, I can't put too many on my vanity at a time because it's not big so I usually take, um, but I make up, I have a pile on my vanity of five or six palettes that I plan on using and then I just march through them and when they're done I put them in a pile so I've had this pile next to my desk now that's just been growing for the whole month because I was planning on making this video and I'll do the same for March. Okay so for the month of March this is what I'm going to be starting with so you will hear about these at the end of the month as well as maybe 10 10 other palettes perhaps. So the first one I'm going to try is Unearthly Cosmetics, the Vitality palette. Um, this was one I was going to use this month and then I just didn't get around to it because I always seem to grab another one. Um, beautiful palette, beautiful color story. This is the only palette I have from Unearthly. And um, yeah, I remember what it was because I had already, I was kind of trying out pink shades and I just did not want to make this pink look because I had already figured out I, I just don't like it. I decided that. So I put the palette aside, but um, there's so many other options for other looks. So I will use this one in March to make a non-pink look. 
I also have from MI Los Angeles the Uptown Girl palette. So what's fun about this one is um, this is based on New York City where I live so it's very colorful and um, this is another one I will try. I also have from MI Los Angeles the Enchanted palette and uh, here is this one. It's a little bit of like a rainbow and a neutral mixed in together. So I'm looking forward to that one. And I think I will, maybe this month I'll try to work on some, like say Sweet Pink. Um, it's, even, it's even more intense in person than on this video. Will not use that shade, but I would like to try to try some reds actually. Because I also noticed with the pinks, something like a cool pink like this, I didn't like. Completely opposite of what I would have thought. But if something is more of a warm pink, and when you're talking warm, you're getting also into, you know, shades of, of red. Um, I... Uh, I kind of like so I want to I want to get more into that so we will see so I have these four palettes from Jolie Beauty that um, I I've gone back and forth on what I want to do with these but um, I totally want to I totally want to try them so this is the vampirism palette these palettes do include pressed glitters but they're actually really soft and nice so I actually I'm working on a painting where I use the pressed glitter and kind of smear it all over and I it's coming along really nicely so double usage out of that for uh, for my art and then I'll use it to make some looks I have the intergalactic palette I basically watched a video by Heather Austin talking about this brand and I just went to their website and bought everything so this one is really pretty Kind of pastels but then you have like some really pretty shimmers in there there's quite a few of the pressed glitters um but like i said i don't mind that i have the ethereality palette and this one is more of a blue um purple kind of color story so that's very nice maybe blue is going to be the next frontier for me now that i figured out what i like about pink i'll figure out about blue and then this is excuse me the sorceress palette this might be my favorite of the four. Again, a cool neutral with some green and, and purples over there. Um, I will try out my Van Gogh palette, which um, this shade Blossom right here is so pretty, like a steely blue. Um, I love it. so. I mean, I, I, I imagine sort of a single, a single, using that as a one and done is what I mean. And then finally, I have the, I got the small palette from Michaela, Glam Light, and um, I'll definitely try this one out. So these are what are on um, my vanity now to use this month. And that's it um it's been fun i at this rate i will definitely get through everything in my collection this year and be able to start rounding out and using palettes that i like more than once sometimes i use a palette and i like it so much that i i want to use it again the next day but i'm just really trying to use a new palette every day and it's been it's been a lot of fun. I highly recommend it if um, if you're trying to if you have a large collection and you feel a little overwhelmed, just one palette a day, and I I enjoy my um, my collection that much more. Thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate it again. If you like this video, um, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Would love it if you would subscribe, and uh, hopefully I will see you here again soon. Until then, have a great day. Bye.